In this video, you're going to learn how to multiply two trinomials together. We're going to go through two examples, so let's dive in. So when you talk about a trinomial, it consists of three terms. The terms are separated by minus or plus. And so what we have is a trinomial times another trinomial. And you can see they're right next to each other with nothing in between, which means that they're multiplied together. So how do we do this? Well, it's basically like doing the distributive property three times. So we're going to take 3x squared times x squared, 3x squared times 4x, 3x squared times negative 1. Then we're going to take negative 2x times all three of these terms. And then we're going to take 5 times all three of these terms. Then we're going to combine all the like terms together. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got 3x squared times 1x squared. You multiply the coefficients 3 times 1, which is 3. x squared times x squared. When you multiply, you add the exponents. So that's x to the fourth. Now when you take 3x squared times 4x, 3 times 4 is 12. And x squared times x to the first is x cubed. Again, just adding those exponents. 3x squared times negative 1 is negative 3x squared. And now we're going to go to negative 2x. Now you want to make sure you capture whether it's a positive or a negative. Minus is negative, plus is positive. So now we're going to distribute negative 2x to all three terms. Negative 2x times x squared is negative 2x cubed. Negative 2x times 4x is negative 8x squared. Negative 2x times negative 1 is positive 2x. Now we're going to go to positive 5, and we're going to distribute that to all three terms. So 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 5 times 4x is 20x. And 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Now you might be saying, Mario, you know, why did you do this, like line them up like this? Well, you can just put them in one long row if you want, and then combine like terms. That's completely fine. The only reason I set it up this way is just so that the x cubes would line up, the x squared, the x's. Just makes it a little bit easier when we combine like terms at the end here. So let's just go ahead and bring down this 3x to the fourth. There's nothing we can combine that with. 12x cubed minus 2x cubed is 10x cubed. Uh, let's see, negative 3 plus negative 8 is negative 11, plus 5 is negative 6x squared. 2 plus 20 is 22x. And we'll bring down the negative 5. There's nothing to combine that with. And that's our final result. So you want to write it in descending order from the highest power to the lowest. And you got it. Let's take a look at another example. See if you can pause the video and try this one on your own. Okay, we have 5x cubed minus x plus 4 multiplied by 2x squared plus 7x minus 3. So let's go ahead and do this problem. We've got 5x cubed. We're going to distribute that to all three of these terms on the second trinomial. So 5x cubed times 2x squared gives us 10x to the fifth. Remember, when you multiply, you add the exponents. Then we have 5x cubed times 7x, which gives us 35x to the fourth. 5x cubed times negative 3 is negative 15x cubed. Now we're going to go with negative x. We're going to distribute that to all three terms. Negative x times 2x squared is negative 2x cubed. Negative x times 7x is negative 7x squared. Negative x times negative 3 is positive 3x. Now we're going to take the positive 4 and distribute it to all three terms. 4 times 2x squared gives us 8x squared. 4 times 7x is 28x. And 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. So now all we have to do is combine like terms. So we've got 10x to the fifth plus 35x to the fourth minus 17x cubed plus x squared plus 31x minus 12. And that's our final result. So you want to put it in descending order from the highest power down to the lowest. And you got it. I'll put another video uh, right there talking more about multiplying polynomials together. I'll see you over in that video.